Hi, Jen and Casey here for another Fusion Online video. Today we're looking at a little bit of anatomy. This is an exercise that we call decompressing the pelvic organs. So Casey's going to go on to all fours with her forearms on the box. Now, if you set this upright, right, and you understand the anatomy, right, you can start giving your clients different imagery cues that help them to activate all this anatomy that we know, but your clients necessarily don't want to hear, they don't want an anatomy lesson. So <laughs> the visualizations and imagery really help them to find the activation. So we have her here on her knees, and I want her to be really lazy to start and let her shoulder blades collapse in. Now on your first exhale, like she's a wind-up doll, right, that I'm winding up and finding this activation, this pulling apart of the spine front, back, and side to side, seeing this beautiful elongation of the lumbar spine. Now on every consecutive inhale and exhale, I want her to imagine the pelvic floor as a lotus flower. So front, back, side to side, she's blooming wide through that lotus flower of her pelvic floor. And then I want her to imagine that she has soda straws on the front back of her spine. Yes, flowers and soda straws. <laughs> and these soda straws are hugging into her spine, front and back, and slurping up through the spine towards the head. Deep inhale and exhale. So we are cueing pelvic floor, multifidus, and psoas major here to really help to secure the spine and to help to decompress the pelvic organs, decompress the viscera. Take another deep inhale, and now I want her to imagine this beautiful lotus flower at her crown chakra. Long, deep exhale. And then the last part of the puzzle is that I want her, keeping the skin of the knees softly kissing the floor, I want her to imagine on the exhale that she can draw her femur bones deeper into the hip sockets, right? So she gets lighter on her knees. So if she were, if I were to cue, lift your knees off the floor, it would be very easy and seamless for her. So the skin of the knees is still kissing the floor, but the femur bones are drawing deeper and deeper into the hip socket. Good, and gently release out of it. Nice. So she was on the fast track with all those cues, right? And she, of course, these are cues we use all the time. So she, they're embedded. She knows them. So your, your regular clients, you're going to have to give them those, you know, one a session or two a session, not all together. How did that feel? It was great. I mean, there are phases where you can find the pelvic floor and then you get the multifidus and then you remember the front soda straw. Right, right. And then to try to balance all that then to get the femurs yes. is huge, but that helps with the crown shot. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And if you see people spilling their abdominals out onto mm -hmm. the floor, compressing their lumbar vertebra, the front soda straws really help them to find the elongation in their yes. back body. So that's a, that's a good cue. Yeah, definitely one I can use again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.